Hi dear students, I am Dr. Mashur. Welcome to my class. Today, I would like to discuss anaerobic treatment of wastewater. So in last class, we had discussed about aerobic treatment of wastewater. That means in the secondary treatment of wastewater, we discuss about anaerobic treatment of wastewater, uh, aerobic treatment of wastewater. In this class, we dis will discuss about anaerobic treatment of wastewater. Anaerobic means uh, the decomposition of this organic material in the absence of oxygen that is known as anaerobic decomposition. And uh, in this anaerobic decomposition is mostly used for decomposition of wastewater sludge. Compared to aerobic treatment, this anaerobic treatment is uh, uh, slower but it saves energy and during this uh, anaerobic treatment process they will produce uh, biofuels like biogases and this anaerobic treatment need only less space and it will produce only less sludge and the environment noises are uh, produced in this anaerobic treatment compared to uh, this aerobic treatment that will be less and the microbes involved in anaerobic treatment that is known as anaerobes and this anaerobes can able to survive in this uh, anaerobic system of as a dormant system the dormant stage uh, for a long time and I will discuss mainly three uh, method of anaerobic treatment one is a flow anaerobic sludge blankets and known as packed bed reactors or packed column reactors and we will discuss about contact digesters these are the main three uh, anaerobic methods we are going to discuss in this class in this slide we can see uh, the principle of anaerobic treatment in the, in the aerobic treatment, we will discuss about the air, present principle of aerobic or treatment and this slide we will discuss about the principle of anaerobic treatment. We already told that anaerobic means in the absence of oxygen. So we can see here uh, this uh, anaerobic bacteria will use organic contaminant and nutrients and it will produce methane, biogas and carbon dioxide this is the principle of anaerobic treatment that means this uh, anaerobic bacteria will use the utilize nutrients and organic components and it will produce methane biomass and carbon dioxide anaerobiosis involved chain of reaction at and each being performed by a specific bacteria this is the principle of uh, anaerobic wastewater treatment we can now we can see the first method contact digesters this contact is an anaerobic equivalent of an activator cell that is used in aerobic treatment and this contact digesters contain mainly two uh, tank one is a steel tank and another one is a settling tank and that is made in the anaerobic condition okay this is a uh, uh, parts of a contact digestion that means it's having one steel tank and another one is a it having a uh, settling tank that is maintained in the anaerobic condition now we can see the working of uh, contact digesters uh, the effluent from the primary treatment that will end to steel tank where it will be completely stirred and after the stirring uh, output of this steel tank will transfer into the settling tank where it will get the settling and settling and the sludge setting of the sludge and before in the settling of sludge that gas will be removed from these reactors and as like in the uh, activated sludge process process a portion of a sludge will be again returned into the uh, steel tank to maintain high rate of methanogenic bacteria in this uh, steel tank that's why it is a called is an anaerobic equivalent of activated sludge process that means first the effluent will come to the steel tank where it will, after the complete stirring 
this uh, FLON will be the uh, output of this tank will be transferred into the uh, settling tank where it will be this strategy will be completely settled. And before the settling, this complete gas is formed in this uh, unit will be uh, removed. And this is the working of uh, this uh, contact digesters. And this method of treatment is used in mainly used in sugar uh, producing industries or citric acid producing industries and some other distilleries also used this uh, contact digesters method. In food processing waste, this contact digest can able to remove 95.5% of the uh, COD uh, by the surge retention time at uh, 4 days at 35 degree Celsius. Uh, this is a figure of contact digesters. You can see the effluent coming to the uh, steel tank. After complete uh, stirring, uh, this uh, Effluent will be uh, transferred into the uh, settling tank and uh, you can see the gas is removed. This is the uh, contact digesters and this is the anaerobic equivalent of a activated studies that is used in aerobic treatment. This is about the contact digesters. Packed column reactors or packed bed reactors like FPR that is used in uh, aerobic treatment method are uh, this packed column reactors or packed bed reactors can able to use in both aerobic and anaerobic condition these are a symbol easy to operate and easy to construct this is the uh, symbol instrument symbol method symbol instrument that is uh, that the packed column reactors or packed bed reactors these are the symbol uh, inst um, uh, instrument and it is easy to construct and easy to operate. In packed column reactors or this uh, packed bed reactors, this microorganism involved in degradation that will be enclosed in a, a packing medium and the wastewater, the effluent with the primary treatment will be moved upward from the bottom of this packed bed reactors. And the organisms involved in this degradation of packed bed reactors that does not form slime or slime layer on the packing material or packing medium and the regular backwashing uh, prevent the clogging of materials in this uh, packed bed reactors and the rate of uh, treatment in this packed bed reactor will be directly proportional to the surface area of this packing materials that means uh, the surface area will, uh, of packing material will be increased that time the treatment rate also will be increased and the packing material can be uh, randomly filled with zeolite pallite or activated carbons this may be the packing material person in the uh, this uh, packed bed reactors and this packed bed reactors can be used in the uh, chemical reactions in this figure you can see the packed bed reactors here you can see the effluent coming from the primary treatment or plant that is ended into the upward into the uh, this chamber and you can see the packed uh, packing medium or medium that is um, packed bed is the uh, this uh, water will pass through that and will undergo for degradation and treated effluent will be gone out sometimes this effluent will be again undergo for treatment it will come to, come, comes to into the chamber and the gas is removed from the top of this chamber this is the structure of packed bed reactors next the method next method is the upflow anaerobic sludge blankets are this uh, upflow aerobic anaerobic sludge blankets that are used mainly used in uh, many uh, purpose for the wastewater treatment for the many sources like uh, wastewater coming from distilleries uh, and like uh, is coming municipal wastewater treatment this also you can use for this uh, this USP 
and food processing units and tunnels can I use this UASP SB for this treatment of wastewater from coming from this sources. This USB reactor may consist of gas solid separator be there and influent distributor system is that that means wastewater coming from thus uh, from outside that will be distributed into this uh, units that is the influent distributor system is there and after the treatment this effluent will be draw off from the container that is the main part that must be present in this uh, USB reactors that means it contain a gas solid separator will be there and it also contain a influent distributor system will be there and after this uh, influent wastewater that uh, treatment there will be a removed of uh, effluent draw off system should be there these are the major parts should be present in this uh, usb reactors and inside the uh, this container or inside the reactor uh, during the treatment process there will be two layer will be this uh, is the one is the sludge layer is there and be a floating uh, sludge blanket of activated bacterial granular particle will be present that is known as a sludge blanket they will be present in this uh, this USB reactors and this granular particles which are present in the sludge blanket that will be synthesized uh, produced by the attachment of bacteria with the small sludge particles and that will aggregate that form a granular particle granular particles and it are some time this bacteria will be attached to each other and that will form a granular particles and that will form this sludge blankets that will be on the top of this uh, sludge layer now we can see the working of USB active uh, applo uh, anaerobic sludge blankets in this if uh, this if uh, this uh, wastewater will come up for to this sludge blankets and the microorganism present in this sludge that it will degrade this uh, organic materials and it will flocculate and it will settle as a sludge in the, down in the sludge layer and the gas that is formed here that will be removed on uh, top of the uh, this uh, reactor and uh, and the screeners will separate cells from the uh, treated water and gas and this gas will be escaped from the chamber by the help of biofilms that is uh, placed in the top of these reactors and the upflow moment of this wastewater from the uh, down part of this uh, reactor that will help so mixing of water in this reactor this is the working of upflow anaerobic sludge blankets and there is some demerits of this upflow anaerobic sludge blankets that uh, this nitrogen and phosphorus cannot be remo uh, fully removed by this method and it's need a skilled operator to operate this instrument and this uh, upflow anaerobic sludge blanket needs several months to start up and this anaerobic applo, applo anaerobic sludge blanket is not appropriate for small and rural areas. This is about the active uh, upflow anaerobic sludge blankets. Uh, these are the anaerobic method used for the uh, treatment of face water and uh, some other methods also used, but I think these are the main important wastewater uh, anaerobic method of wastewater use uh, use and i hope you understood this class thank you thank you for listening